In the, in the private equity world, the question of value of a business comes up all the time. In other words, what's it worth? And initially the answer has to be, it depends. Firstly, who's buying? Is it a strategic buyer or is it a financial buyer? Strategic buyers have very specific interests in looking at an acquisition. And they may be thinking about uh, synergies that they wish to bring to the deal uh, after it closes, which obviously enhances the value from their perspective. Financial buyers, on the other hand, may not have that same ability. They may not have a platform that they're building on. They are really focused on some attractive economics that says this deal is one that they want to do. And they will crank a value using their models to decide what they should pay. It also depends on the nature of the, the quality of earnings. If the company is in a turnaround situation, it has certain valuation considerations attached to that. If, however, it's got an unprecedented profit record, then valuations will naturally reflect that kind of record. It also depends on backdrop conditions. Situations change. Market conditions change for different products. In the final analysis, it really is what you can negotiate. Price has many meanings, depending on tax considerations for both the vendor and for the buyer, and also the terms of sale can make a difference. In that drive to fairness, often little tricks can bridge the gap. It's not unlike the old pizza rule in college, you cut, I choose, or the modern-day derivative in business language, which is, you name your price, and I'll name the terms. Can valuations help? Maybe. Valuations can be very useful where a naive seller, and by a naive I mean someone who may have just recently inherited a business, knows nothing about it, and is motivated to sell, but needs help. Obviously, getting professional expertise to help determine a value can be very important going into negotiations. It's also important in setting, can be important in settling disputes. Often shareholders decide to part ways, and one way to decide on who should pay what to whom is to have valuations done, and maybe more than one. Also, it's very useful in uh, providing boards of directors with reference points uh, on the basis of which they will decide uh, whether offers that are being made for a business uh, or for their business or made, being made for businesses they want to acquire meet the fair value tests that they think are appropriate or that the shareholders would think are appropriate. This business is full of cliches. And in buying and selling in businesses, looking at buyouts, beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. Thank you.